Hey y'all, today I am sewing and I am going to try to make Butterick 6453, this one, and I am going to try to make it out of this Goosebumps fabric. So uh, a couple years ago I tried to make a Goosebumps dress and I don't know what I did. I think I ended up making it way too small. I couldn't even get into it. Um, so today it is 6 p.m. and I want to try to make a dress tonight. So let's see if I can just get it done. Been in like a weird sewing mood the last couple weeks and I know I want to work on a big bigger project in the next two weeks, but for today, I don't want to go and buy anything, so let's try to make something for my stash. Um, I did make these cute little bookmarks, Animal Crossing bookmarks today. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and start working on this project. I don't know what to promise of this video because I just randomly decided to film it and I have no idea what I'm doing, so uh, let's go forth together. Because last time I had a fitting issue, I don't remember if it was this pattern or another pattern. This is a super simple pattern so I shouldn't have any issues, but I always with these style of dresses end up having too tight waist and I think it's because I take my bust measurement which is um, disproportionate to my hips and my waist. I mean my waist and my, yeah my waist and my hips. That was the same thing, but yeah. So because it is a lot smaller, it doesn't really make sense. So I think I'm going to go towards, I'm going to go with my waist one, and then I'm going to make a mock-up and see if I really need to grade down to like a 12 or a 10 even. But I am going to make a really quick mock-up of the bodice and see how that works out because I don't want to waste my fabric again. Interesting. So I did already cut this pattern out and it looks like I 6, 10, 12. It looks like I cut it out in the 12. So it's like one and a half inches off. I'm going to make the mock up in the 12 then and see what it looks like. And I might just be able to like fudge the waist a little bit, just add a little bit to it if I feel like it's not right. This is the 12. I just have elastic as the strap, so it's not really effective. Um, I noticed some spots here that I could pinch out. I, could, I had trouble with the back, so that's not accurate. That's just the amount that I could pinch out. So I am going to goof off with that pattern piece. It is probably like half an inch. So. On the front and back. Honestly, the, the back might disappear on the front back. First step on the pattern is to stage stitch the front bodice, which I will skip because I always skip, and then we're going to attach the bodice side fronts to the center front. That is this piece, and then these two attached to the side. Once that's done, um, I actually clipped the curve seam and then ironed it all down. And I am doing a lining, so I'm doing duplicates, even though I'm not showing the duplicate. But then you will add the back pieces to the side bodice. bodice pieces are all sewn together, then we want to prepare the straps. 
And actually these straps are done the same way as my last dress where I did the slip dress. Lingerie thingamabobs, these things. Where I hid those on myself, but I'm going to go make those straps. And then after that, we're gonna move on to the skirt. So this is very easy going so far. All right, back straps are done, the front straps are done. I am also done for the night. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, I'm just done for the night. I, I don't know why doing something as silly as sewing these and then turning them right side out is enough for me. So I will be back tomorrow and we'll finish this dress up. Night. All right, good morning, good morning. It is day two of working on this. I worked on the bodice and the straps for about three and a half hours last night. I really thought I was gonna have like this burst of energy and just make this whole dress last night, which is not wildly ambitious, but I, I knew at the beginning that I didn't have the energy for it. So this morning I'm going to start by pinning the straps where they're supposed to go and then sandwiching the outer and the inner of the bodice together to line it. And then I am going to start cutting out the skirt because I don't even think I have the pattern cut out for that because I didn't get that far last dress. straps, the back straps, and then they'll add the little thing, connect. Sorry, I'm watching The Paradise, I'm trying to finish it. Here's the skirt pattern laid out. The front is supposed to be cut on a fold, but because of the direction of the words, I'm just going to cut out four skirt pieces total and just have a seam in the front. It doesn't really matter to me. It's going to be hidden with the busyness of the print anyways. Skirt pieces are all cut out and then I went ahead and searched the side seams and I marked the center back up to where the zipper is gonna go. So we're gonna stitch up that center back seam, and then we're gonna add the pockets. Once the pockets are attached to the front and back skirts, then you're gonna stitch up the side of the skirts and the pockets together. Now I just need to gather up this waistband. So, my least favorite part of any dress. Waistband is all gathered. I'm going to stitch it to the waist of the bodice. Before I put the zipper in, I want to try it on and make sure it at least fits because I do not want to continually insert and unpick zippers specifically. It actually fits perfectly. The only thing that I will probably change next time I make this dress is um, the waistline. My waistline is right about here. And so if I brought it up, I actually, in messing with the pattern lengthened it a little bit so I think that was actually on me and not the original pattern but it doesn't look bad so I'm super excited so remaining items to do are add the zipper hem and then finish the straps and it will be a wearable dress Gone ahead and hemmed it. Nobody needs to see that. 
most boring part of the dress. And I'm gonna hide all of this with some hand stitching of the lining down. 